This is a British Rail 142 class pacer train. They're horrible to ride and they're extremely outdated. How did we end up with these monstrosities? The short answer is money. The long answer is a little more complicated, but that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. This is the story of how buses became trains and how they also ended up becoming rubbish. To understand why these trains were built, we first had to go back in time to 1983. Margaret Thatcher is Prime Minister, and E.T. had just made it onto our cinema screens, but what we're here to look at is the old British rail engines. Most of the stock was becoming increasingly outdated, and they were pretty much falling apart, and with the threat of more beaching style cuts appearing, British Rail had to come up with a cheap and efficient way to make new trains that were better than the old obsolete ones. The solution was the pacer. The idea of a pacer is relatively simple. Just take a few old Leyland National buses, take off the wheels and make a few adjustments, then give them a look of paint and stick them on an old freight wagon chassis, and you've got yourself a pace train. The plans seemed like a good idea in theory, and since they were made so inexpensively, they pretty much solved British Rail's money problem. And as of 2016, only two of the original 96 142 class models have been decommissioned and scrapped. That's over 30 years of service with hardly any faults. But you've probably already worked out from the title of this video that the scheme wasn't all so positive. There were many disadvantages with the project, which include rough rides around corners and points due to the wheel configuration, poor acceleration and reliability, the wheel setup made a painful screeching sound, uncomfortable and outdated bus bench seating, the suspension caused carriages to bounce up and down, the old bus doors and steps made wheelchair access near impossible. So these trains are obviously pretty bad, but what's going to happen to women in the future? Well fortunately, most of them are going to be decommissioned and scrapped as early as 2020, when hopefully we'll be getting some new futuristic replacements, but some will be running as long as 16 more years before they're withdrawn. So until then, it looks like we're going to have to deal with them. There are many more rubbish things to talk about in this series, so make sure to join me next time in another episode of Historically Rubbish.